Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Newman. This is Ask Dr. Ben. I'm a coronavirus researcher and have been for over 20 years. Uh, let's go to your questions. All right, so the first question today comes from Renee, who we know. Yeah, hi. Good to hear from you. Okay, I'm immunocompromised um, and suggestions show the vaccine which I've received is likely less effective compared to others. It depends, but I think that is a good rule of thumb. I think uh, the vaccine is going to help, but the question is how much. And it's not a bad idea to be careful uh, given, uh, yeah, that you're immunocompromised. But there are different kinds of immunocompromise and different extents. So this is the sort of thing that I know people would want an exact, you know, percentage chance answer. But um, uh, it would take a whole lot of tests to get there. So yeah, all right. So that's, that's the general picture. Fine. So the question is, as I return to the gym, continuing safety protocols, mask wearing and social distancing. Oh, man. Okay. So we just went to Mammoth Caves in Kentucky. And uh, I think we were the only ones in the party. Um, but we were all wearing masks. Going through the cave, squeezing through those little places, I ended up huffing and puffing a lot, and the mask kind of filled up with water vapor and became, you know, just kept just like pulling into my face every time I breathed in, going back out. It was just hard to do. It was miserable. Yeah, <sighs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I would imagine you could do it, but I would imagine that would be very difficult. I like that you're trying, though, trying to be careful. And yeah, it's it's the best you can do in the situation. But um, yeah, I, I know that's not going to be fun. Uh, let's see. So what are your thoughts on using the steam room or the dry sauna? Oh, OK, interesting. Um, first thought would be, I don't see how you're going to go into a sauna or a steam room in a mask, at least particularly a steam room. That just sounds miserable. And it just sounds like you would have a very hard time breathing in a room where I think you would have a hard time breathing anyway, or at least I do when I go into those. Uh, um, so is the steam room hot enough to disinfect coronavirus? Like, I don't know. Yeah, this is very off the cuff, but I would have thought if you let that thing run for a little bit and there's nobody in there, I would have thought it's probably fine. Uh, the virus does not do well in steam. It does not do well at temperatures above about 40 degrees Celsius or uh, 45, I think. Uh, you can actually inactivate it. So probably that's going to be relatively safe, but if you're in there with people, I don't think there's a good way to wear a mask, and I think there is potentially a risk. So, I don't know. Can you get there at a time when nobody else is there? Can you be uh, like, uh, I don't know, Michael Jordan or whatever, and be the first one there at the gym in the morning, or the last one to leave at night, or both, and just not, not be around people in the middle? I think that could potentially work. Um, I just think you're going to try to find an unpopular time, and then I think it could be all right. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. Good to hear from you. And there's not a ton of science that we can go on for this one, um, other than general viral stability at different temperatures. So, yeah, uh, that's, I think the best we can do, uh, here and yeah, good luck to you. And I like that you're trying to Trying to balance things and still be careful uh, in an increasingly dangerous world. Yeah, it, it waxes and wanes, but we're, we're in a bad, getting bad again now by the look of it. So thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.